I'm Lady Proxy and today we're making some simple cupcakes. It's my niece's birthday coming up and I'm going to make some cupcakes for school. Alright, to make this you will need 250 grams of butter. Now I recommend you take the butter out of the fridge uh, the night before or if you're only baking in the afternoon to take it out in the morning so that it softens. It shouldn't be rock hard and it shouldn't be melted either, it should just be nice and soft. And try to use baking butter if you can. Then you will need 400 grams of caster sugar. Caster sugar is better than regular sugar in this just for the sense of baking um, because it uh, dissolves better and you can get lumpy granules in your cupcake. Okay. Four large eggs. And then we need some cake flour. We need, uh, well, it's an odd amount. It's 560 grams of flour. That's just a little over two cups. Then you'll need 20 ml baking powder. That's about four te uh, teaspoons. And about one teaspoon of salt. And 300 ml milk. And a shot of whiskey. Just kidding. You need 10 moles of vanilla essence. You will need icing sugar if you're going to ice them, but we'll get to that later. Right. The next step is to preheat your oven while you mix these things. So preheat your oven to 180 degrees Celsius. If you have a fan assisted oven, you can go down to 160 but it's best that you know how your oven works. Equipment, you'll need a mixing bowl and an electric mixer and a spatula. So, step one. And it's important to do it in these steps because at the end of the day, baking is an alchemy and by mixing things in a certain order, you get a certain result. So, we start by adding butter. and the sugar and it's a good idea to always sieve your sugar, flour or any dry ingredients. You want to make sure there's no lumps, no any nasty surprises, and that's just me. Alright, so we've got our butter and our sugar. And we're going to mix that on a low speed. Once you've got it more or less mixed, you go one speed up. Now don't start on a high speed when you've got powder in there because uh, it will just phew, make a mess. Alright, next we're going to add the eggs in and continue to beat. So I'm going to add half my eggs. Mix on speed two. Flower. 
this batch, so bear with me. Should I use a bigger sieve? Yes. Why am I not using a bigger sieve? Because I can't find it. So I'm using this one. Mixing again. Start on a very low setting in the middle because the flour is going to go flying. And as you hear it struggle, you can turn up the setting. And then while we're doing this, we're going to start adding some milk. So when it gets thick and difficult to work with, add a bit of milk and continue mixing. paper cups cooperate and sometimes they don't. Um, it can be tricky so just be careful. Now remember it's always a good idea to sample your batter before you bake. <laughs> Are these cupcakes good for you? Definitely not. Are they yummy? Yes. Oh, yum, yum, yum. And remember to half everything I've shown you today if you only want to make about one batch, which is one tray. I'll be making Oven needs to be preheated and then ready. Add the cupcakes. 
and put your timer on 15 to 20 minutes right so once your time is up you want to switch the oven off and test them use a cake tester or a toothpick if it comes out clean then they're ready and these are ready that was 15 minutes in my oven but every oven is different so need to put them back for another five minutes, do so. Alright, once they're done, you want to pop them out onto a cooling rack. There you have. This is a double batch, remember? Half the recipe if you only want one batch. Next up, the icing. Right, we're gonna make the icing now. There are various ways you can make icing, you should just follow the instructions on the pack. The cheapest and most simplest is icing sugar and water and your colorant. Um, that just makes a type of royal icing, drip icing, very thin. But I prefer butter icing and I found the best ratio is one part butter to three parts icing. In this case, I'm using a cup of butter and three cups of icing because I have a lot of cupcakes to cover. And what you'll want in there is your food coloring. Uh, my niece insisted on pink, so we've got here a crimson pink we'll be using. And my secret ingredient, which is experimental, and I'm trying it for the first time because she wanted strawberry flavor. And I happen to have some lint strawberry and cream sweets that uh, left over from party that we haven't used and I'm not big on white chocolate so I've taken about 10 of them and mashed them up and I'm going to add this to my icing and let's hope it works out so you add your butter soften to room temperature so not runny and not too stiff Icing sugar and oh, okay. okay, icing sugar again, sieve it, avoids lumps. Don't want lumpy icing sugar. I'm not adding all of it because I just want to see what my consistency is like and if I need more icing sugar or more butter. Remember to start at a very low setting, otherwise your icing sugar is going to go flying. Setting. All right, so far so good. I could use a little more icing. So I'm just going to hope that my measurements were correct. When it comes to icing sugar, some experiments are necessary. I do find the one part butter to three parts icing generally is good for spreading and for piping. Um, go. And I'm gonna add my secret ingredient. Some 
Once most of the icing is mixed in, you can add your colorant. Why I add it now and not earlier is because then it gets a little blotchy for some reason. So how much colorant is completely dependent on your consistency and how much color you want. So let's mix in this color. strawberries and green flavor will come through. I feel like adding some vanilla essence just to boost that vanilla flavor. I'm adding two teaspoons because this is a double batch. And we will mix it up some more. I'm happy with the consistency, it's not runny and it's not too thick. It will be very good because I'm going to spread these muffins, I won't be using a piping bag. It should be very creamy. So let's go butter those cupcakes. Alright, so while you weren't looking, I went and baked another 12 uh, cupcakes. So my batch, the ingredients I gave you and the amounts gave me three trays, which is 36 cupcakes. And uh, I was aiming for about 30, because there's about 30 kids in the class, so yay me. Time to butter them. I use a butter knife, and just grab a cupcake. You don't want to take too much, and just smear it on. And not too thick because you don't want the icing sugar to overpower the taste of the cupcake. So, we'll take a cupcake, a small scoop of icing, and just smear it on covering all of the cupcake. I would say a scoop is about a tablespoon. And I see my pieces of chocolate coming through, I don't know if you can see. So that was my secret ingredient. And continue this until all the cupcakes are done. Ta-da! 36 iced cupcakes. Now you can leave it here or decorate them further, which is what I'm going to do. And remember to make sure that before you ice, your cupcakes need to have cooled off, otherwise your icing is just going to melt. Alright, so I'm going to add some rainbow colored sprinkles, because the theme once again is colors, and some bugs and insects on top. These are not edible, these are purely decoration, just for the kids. And I find the easiest way to add the uh, sprinkles is put a few of them in a dish, make sure they're nice and flat, and you simply very quickly dip the cupcake. And you have some sprinkles on, and you will grab a decoration, place it on, and ta da! Some interesting cupcakes for them. Again, some sprinkles, quick dip, don't want to overdo it. Crawling on this one, and there you go. And I will continue to do this, and when this empties, just add a few more. 
and I'll be back. And there you have it. I have placed my spark clothes, put a few insects on top, and I'm pretty sure the kids are going to like it. So thanks for watching and hope you enjoy making this recipe. It's fun, it's delicious, and it's simple enough, but does take a bit of time, so enjoy.